Subnautica is an underwater open world survival borderline horror game. While natively a flat screen title, it does also support VR for the Vive and Rift, which I'm about to review in its current state as of February 2018. To kick things off, here's my quick verdict on Subnautica as a flat screen title. It's amazing. The graphics are beyond breathtaking, the progression of your character from fishbait to badass is immensely satisfying, the scavenging, the crafting, the exploring, the upgrading, the vehicles, the moments of sheer nope, this is one of the most memorable and significant gaming experiences I've ever had, and for the 25 US they're asking, it's an absolute steal. That out of the way, how does it stack up in VR? We'll start with the controls. As the game currently doesn't support motion controllers, you're left with two options, keyboard and mouse or gamepad. Keyboard and mouse is unfortunately somewhat broken in VR due to a bug hiding any curses, making selecting anything a frustrating game of pin the tail on the donkey. Aside from this, I had no other issues, and the simultaneous use of mouse and HMD movement to control player rotation works surprisingly well. As for using a gamepad, I found using my PS4 controller a breeze for the most part, however there does seem to currently be a bug preventing you from starting the Cyclops' engines, which for me was something of a deal breaker. Let's now talk UI. The player HUD is pretty much perfect in my opinion. The PDA HUD on the other hand is usable, but a bit too close for comfort for my tastes. Speaking of comfort, the inclusion of comfort options would have been nice, as I personally found myself suffering the odd bout of queasiness. Moving on to graphics. Playing the game in VR, you will of course need to make trade-offs, but not nearly as much as I would have expected. I was able to handle medium settings fairly well on my 1070, though not without considerable pop-in and the occasional stutter. Speaking of settings, the game offers a massive amount. Now for the verdict. Subnautica in VR sacrifices comfort, dexterity and graphics for the added immersion of literally having your head in the game. Unfortunately, the few very specific bugs I mentioned are somewhat game breaking. Until these are fixed, Subnautica in VR is more of a novelty than a viable alternative.